Hello everyone. So like as we always say, ki we have the best chalk paint in India. So we just don't say. I just wanted to show you like you know uh, our chalk paints quality and this. As I'm giving you an open challenge, so definitely I would like to show you also. So I'll be just making some tea posters today with you. So before that, I have like you know selected few out of three thirty shades. I've just selected few shades of blue and some whites and grey. So with this, I will just be uh, like you know show you how our chalk paint is the best and like you know how it works for just in a one coat. So first of all, I'm like you know taking the grey color for my base. This is the grey one uh, by iCraft chalk paint. I'll just take a like you know dip of color. As you have seen, I've just taken a little dip in my color and look at the strokes on MDA. Just one strokes. I'm not even taking another color, just one coat and it's done. All you can see where any other chalk paint you take it, you have please have to, especially on the MDF base. The MDF base is more difficult things to color. So there at least you need like you know a two coat. One you just give and then you have to wait for the drying and you can go for the another coat. You just see here. I'm just going with the one coat and it's done. And I'm taking minimum amount of color also which I'm just taking and spreading everywhere as you see the little paint and we are done you must have noticed my brush is not gone again there just once even the sides takes a lot of like you know color to and I will work with dark color and medium color and light color all the colors so that you get to know ki how it's like you know what we saying is how it goes correct or no I'm just coloring at the back and a front in front of you Just turning it. Just spreading the color once. You can just see the finishing from all four sides and even on the top. look at this finishing just at one coat so when we say it's the best so we are just showing you also how it's best even the creaminess the butter effect of the color you just can see that it's so creamy and it just so like you know it spreads like butter you pick up any surface glass wood or anything where I always find you know more difficulty only on this uh, what do you say MDF the more because that like you know literally soaks the color but uh, uh, you have to give for two to three coats here it just one coat is enough so that's base is ready we will be going with this one now this I have selected few like you know I don't know what I'm going to do I've just selected a uh, few this things uh, chalk paints and I will be going with those colors I'm just not washing my brush. I'm just taking it directly, this dark color. Again, you just see I'm um, like giving one coat. I'm covering the sides also so that, like, you know, it protects my wood for a longer period of time right now I'm not doing it back side I'll just showing you the front side even you have to do the back side as you see I've just taken one brush strokes and that covered my entire uh, one side of it so just one coat and all, and then this will be done so I'm just doing right now front to show you I'm done with this color 
now for this one i will be taking any other color i'm sorry my always jars are a little messy and uh, almost done just see how it's spreading like a butter i don't have to put any more hard work for this thing it's just going like a butter and i'm not dipping my color again in my uh, this palette my brush is already loaded once and it's done all you can just see the finishing because it's impossible for the one coat mdf like you know with any chalk paint but assured we are giving open challenge that you know if you get anything best than this in india you can take from us a 30 free shades this is the one done now i might go for a little lighter color so i'll just use uh, i'll wash my brush catch your brush let's start with the lighter color yeah for the lighter color sometime we have to go with another coat because it's like uh, the opacity is not gone but still here also i will show you i guess we will not need another coat even the white only problem with the light color is you get the brush strokes so if you apply with the sponge light color then you will only need a one color here i will need another coat just to hide the brush strokes just to hide the brush strokes that too like you know i will not need the color i'm just spreading my brush little more smoothly the blue color was there so it just got mixed it with this even our color blends with each other so well and it's like you know gives you so smooth finishing even the beginner are doing some shading with these two colors they can also do it so easily they will not even make out that no uh, it was a beginner's work so i'm done with this three shades now i might pick up little darker than this Sorry. sorry my hands are a little messy mm -hmm. with this i'm taking some another shade a peacock blue and this one casually mm -hmm. color taking the same brush and the peacock blue white is there covering the edge is very important again I'm saying that gives you a nice finishing just one coat yes another color is here i'm taking this blue shade now the thickness of the color is so creamy that trust me if you are just like you know a lover of chalk paint then you try this one and you just feel the difference the smoothness just hiding the breast strokes because my brush are quite old so it's giving little strokes all right here on this i will give go with another shade of blue as you have seen like you know i'm just doing the shades of blue
it gives you enough time to do your blending and shading it dries little like you know on proper time so as you have seen like you know we are just uh, like done with the front and back coloring so this is just the one coat and in front of you only I just showed this piece also like in a one coat it's looking super finished so now I will show you further work on it so on this three light shades I will be like you know using a crackle gel I'll keep this aside uh, like these two have just done it same color I'm using my crackle gel on it as you must have like you know used it or experienced it a crackle gel has again a superb finishing there's a like you know two way of using this crackle gel two to three way the way depends how do you need the strokes so right now i on this white one i need little like you know medium strokes so i'm just giving my brush moving my brush like this front and back and little on a slant away because i need my strokes to be this direction and you have to make sure you're like you know applying everywhere okay so here i'm just done with the one here on this i'm giving a little long strokes because i need here a long and straight uh, cracks so the cracks thing also depends how do you like you know apply your crackle gel and i'm letting this thing get dry On this also again I will be like you know using my vertical strokes all right so this is what we done on three we have given our crackle gel I will let this thing get dry naturally yeah on this now I will be doing my some stenciling and dry brushing on it so see I'm just uh, like you know taking like the sunflower stencil again it's like you know 4 by 4 stencil by iCraft and I'll use my chalk paint and I'll do this brushing on it I'm using my white color chalk paint on this dark color because that will come nicely I'll take my color I will just remove the excess color and I'll make sure my brush is loaded a very minimum amount of color and I'm just doing it softly I'll make sure my stencil is not uh, moving and I will lift it as you have seen this crispiness of the image so that is the one way of using like you know stencil and the brush with the same thing i will take another one which is again a darker shade here i'm just using some my uh, barcode stencil and here i'm just taking the same color Cover the whole thing and I'll lift it that's some barcode effect this way you can have like you know the smaller stencils are so useful you can have like different different effects this is quite a lighter shade so might be I'll not go with the white one but uh, I'll go with some darker shade and I'm just using my all over flowers that gives some prettiness I'm 
taking my dark blue shade I'm removing the excess part of it I'll make sure my brush is not with excess part and I'm doing just on a half of it leaving at the half so this three are almost done by the time we'll come to this one the base base I might go for one side a blue color and one side a, this color here again I can go with this kind of flower only with this blue sheet some of it and with the sum of it I will use my stencil this way and here I can go with a white color make sure my brush is very dry it should not have any water inside this brush Here I can have some touch up because it's just come out something. So this is something my base is ready. My few coasters are ready. I will want you can just varnish this coasters and use it and it becomes a water uh, washable. Now on this first I'll go with the whiter color. Cut it a dryer then now. Okay, so it's not yet dry so I might have to wait so I'll just start with the white one white one we had given the crisscross things so here also I'm just giving the same kind of strokes as you see the cracks have started coming and it's so quick I can assure you the quality gives you so fast results the way this aircraft cracking gel is giving you so here I've done it like you know or the medium shade of it it's not yet done we will be some doing stenciling again on it and now on this I'm just taking another dark shade here I'm giving a little longer strokes because I wanted a longer cracks Make sure once your crack is there, do not apply a second coat there, same place. Otherwise, the crack will be colored by strokes. So, you have to give, once crack is there, you cannot color it there again. As you see the difference, these are like, you know, coming little straight because we had applied the color very straight there. The crackle gel, we had applied the straight. So, the crack strokes are straight and here we had applied the crisscross. So, the uh, it's like you know giving you a crisscross look so that is the way like you know you can get the difference it's the way you want you can apply your this thing even for the bigger crack you can use your big, a bigger brush and a bigger strokes that will give you a bigger cracks and this I'm using this third one I'm just taking as you see I have not used my water and my color is moving like a butter that's the best part of Icraft chalk paint. This is okay. Just leave phone office man da de na. So 
so you just see this bigger cracks out here and just you give and the crack starts coming i purposely kept the strokes of the other color that gives you some nice look so on this three again we will be doing a stenciling i think i just have to wait for five minutes so now as you have seen like you know difference of some cracks like giving the different strokes gives you different directions of the cracks even the sizes of the cracks depends on the strokes so now once we are done with the base uh, now let's start like you know more garnishing these things or we can just say decorating i'm using my another 4x4 stencil this time not you not using my chalk paint here i'm using my uh, like you know uh, the black texture paste it's a black texture paste which is like you know again like a moves like a butter my knife is little bigger for the smaller area same way out here also just taking out excess thing and look at this beauty sometimes with a lighter color even the black looks very nice so here i've done it black even like here i will do two colors say uh, for the sh like you know shine i can do it in a white or in this like a universe i want in black so here i'm using my again a black texture paste and I'm using you know bottom like you know down directions and I'm not lifting it I'll take a white one I'll use my white modeling paste or a texture paste just with the very carefully I have to go with the up direction look at this beauty black and white, white or you can add some colors to this whiteness now out here on this also I will be doing my stenciling when you can or you can just do your decoupage i'm only like you no know, wanted to show you the chalk paint so we are more on using this chalk paints and paste on it coasters where we three we did with the this thing with this um, like paste another three i've already stacked it in my this thing so with the minimum amount of chalk paint and with the minimum like uh, say material you can create these like you know beautiful uh, coasters and now on top of it you can use your varnish like we always prefer uh, like you know special varnish on it because that makes me like you know makes it waterproof so you can use your varnish front and back both the sides and let it dry for a 12 month, uh, like you know 12 hours and this you can use it every day or if you want to gift it somewhere in a corporate or all this is like you know very elegant in a class gift so just try a chalk paint today itself